22nd of November is the last date for the filling of uh, uh, J means 2024 registration form. But you are facing a lot of issues. Why? So it's one of the major issue that all of you are focusing right here is the certificate number. You know, NTA has changed some things in the registration form which are complicated for you. You'll add your passport size photo. This ratio is not enough to add this image. So hi everyone. Hi guys. This is your one and only Akash Tyagi sir. And here we are guys on this amazing platform of Pila Blue Gulf. Guys, you know, from the last, uh, you know, two or uh, three days, you are so tensed. You all of you are so tensed because, you know, you know that uh, 22nd of November is the last date for the filling of uh, uh, J means 2024 registration form. But you are facing a lot of issues. Why? Because NTA, you know, NTA has changed some things in the registration form, which are complicated for you, you know, while filling that registration form. And today in this video, I'll tell you the very correct solution, if possible, for those challenges. And now let's talk about what are the major problems that you are facing right now while, you know, filling your registration form for J means 2024. So guys, one of the major issue that all of you are focusing right here is the certificate number. You know, so what is the certificate number? No, this is not only the certificate number, but this is the caste certificate number, guys. This is the caste certificate number. All right. So before this year, guys, the rule is like that, you know, you need a caste certificate if you belong to a certain category, which is entitled for the, you know, reservation. All right. But, you know, you have to show that the caste certificate ID or that number at the time of J advance exam. All right. In the very last. But now the change is, you know, NTA has changed this that you have to write your caste certificate number and the date of uh, date of apply in the same registration form for J means 2024. Now here we have the problem. What is the problem, sir? You know, a lot of you may not have that caste certificate number. And now you know that today is, you know, 6th or 7th of November. And you now have only 17, 16 or 17 days for this registration form, you know, end date. And now you have to be, you know, you have to prepare, you have to apply for this caste certificate. And, you know, you know this very well that, you know, it may take a lot of time. It may take even 30 days or even, you know, more than one month. In that, uh, you know, in that uh, scenario, you'll be not able to fill your registration form. You know, we have some other problems as well the image ratio you know when you will you know you, you you'll add your passport size photo you know it is not having uh, you know it is saying that you know this ratio is not uh, enough to add this image so what to do with that image ratio details and match an id proof while filling all the details okay you will fill your name your your father name your mother's name and you are you know providing your id proof let's say aadhar card or any other id proof especially aadhar card but now the name is not matching all right i'll give you the example and when you know then we'll you know have some solution for all these problems all right guys so now let's talk let's talk first about this thing caste certificate because this is the major problem this is the whole major problem that you all are facing all right and this is the serious issue for this year for all of you guys first of all who needs caste certificate anyone belong to obc non criminal because they are entitled for the reservation general ews and SCST. All right. Apart from this, if you belong to general category, guys, you, you don't need to, you know, have your caste certificate. You will be entitled with no reservation. So you don't need to put anything here or there. All right. In the uh, caste certificate number. But if you're willing to have the, you know, if you're willing to get the reservation, then you have to, you know, you have to your, you have to have your caste certificate for all these categories. All right. Now, the problem is, guys, the problem is very, very basic. Now, a lot of you belong to these categories. All right. You need to apply for the reservation, but the problem is you have to show your caste certificate. In that caste certificate, you have a caste certificate number, which you have to add in your registration form. All right. Now, a lot of you have some problem that, sir, I don't have this caste certificate, you know, uh, form and I didn't apply it any time. So, you know, if I apply now, then it will, it may take a lot of time because, you know, you, the government officials has to be, you know, uh, has to be, you know, uh, apply, you know, when you apply. So it is the government side then they will, you know, uh, allow or they will, you know, entitle you for this caste certificate and they will take a lot of time. The problem is they will take a lot of time. Now, what to do now, sir? So, first of all, let's understand, guys, this caste certificate is whether state, state or central. All right. State means that this caste certificate is belong or, you know, the authorization is from the state, state government. And when we talk about the central, the authorization is from the central government. First of all, who issues, you know, which official issue this uh, caste, uh, caste certificate, guys? So basically, anything, you know, any official on DM level or Tehsildar level 
will issue this caste certificate and you know it's very basic that you can apply for the state caste certificate or you can apply for the central caste certificate you know there is a point that uh, somehow uh, the central caste certificate you know uh, for issuing takes a lot of time but you know state may take some less time all right now why do you need to have to you know separate the uh, why do you have these two separate car certificate because you know that uh, the reservation rules are you know somehow different in some of the states as compared to the central state or central government guys all right that's why you need to apply all right now the point is which one is very important for you you need to apply for state or central so now guys from the nda official website we can understand it is right you know it is uh, very well mentioned there that you need central caste certificate you need central caste certificate now the problem is some are saying that sir i'm already having the state uh, caste certificate all right but i'm not having that central some are saying that sir i'm I, i'm not having any of these certificate you know neither uh, state or uh, central then what to do now what to do guys so now here's the solution for this problem because you know you know you know that you need this to apply for the reservation and if you need this caste certificate what is the important thing is you know in the registration form you need to add the id number caste certificate id number the date of applying all these things has to be mentioned there if you have any if you have any if you have the central caste certificate then you do you know you not need to worry any you know uh, about anything why because this is the only thing which you need right now if you have only state but nda said that they need central caste certificate if you only have state and you know that if i apply for the central caste certificate even now then it will take a lot of time you know you'll not be able to fill the form on time so what to do guys you will you will put all the details from the state caste uh, certificate but at the time of documentation before your j advance until then you must have your central caste certificate means what you will do if you have the state uh, caste certificate now so you will apply you know you will uh, you know you'll fill all the details from this certificate caste certificate but you will right now apply for the central caste certificate and at the time of documentation in the last you will now you, you will then have this central caste certificate and then you will use this this is the very first solution if you have this caste certificate now the problem is sir if i am not having anything what to do now so first of all guys you will apply for the central caste certificate whether online or offline the benefit to apply offline is only for those people who have some you know uh, who have some uh, relation with the officials from the parent side from anywhere and if they can request them to issue it to you know very fast because you have to fill your registration form in that case you can fill offline otherwise you will fill it online and no you know uh, we don't know that uh, how you know how many days it will take to issue uh, from the government side what you will do guys when you fill this uh, form online you will get a receipt number you will get a receipt number because you don't have any other option guys you don't have any other option other than this you will have this receipt number and you will fill the details from the receipt number in these details and then you will go ahead if everyone at the time of documentation if officials will say that you didn't you know you, you didn't uh, you know you don't uh, fill the right information from your caste certificate and if, in that case you will be entitled for general category no reservation but because this rule has changed for this year and you will say that sir i had the receipt number for the same thing i am right now having the caste certificate from the central government and this is the same certificate for the for that this receipt number belongs to so in that case if they allow this then you will be entitled for the reservation based on your caste certificate if they not then you will be entitled for the same general category and now guys if you don't do anything if you are saying that sir i am not having anything and you will you just go ahead without the caste certificate even then you will be in the general category then now the only thing is you will do this one okay for the chance the 50 50% chance to get the reservation in your category i hope this is clear to all of you guys this is the only thing which you can do with the caste certificate all right guys so id number and date of applying is very important if you have the receipt number you will fill the details 
there you will you know fill the uh, date of applying you know whenever you will uh, you know apply it online on the government side i hope this is clear to all of you now so other problems what about the other problems sir image ratio so guys don't worry at the time you know when you you will try to have that image into the website then if they deny that image they will give you a ratio that image should be of that pixel or that ratio okay now go to the website go to the website we have so many website on the google for the image for the image compression for the image compression you will fill manually the ratio you want and then you will download that particular image in that ratio and then you will then upload it on the same i think this problem is very very common and i think you can do this on your own from the website just do this now the second major problem is sir you know let's suppose my father name is sanjay all right let's suppose my name is akash all right but okay this is my name in my mark sheet but in my aadhar card in my any id proof whatever you have you know you are giving there let's say aadhar card my name is written as a a k a s h now there is a problem there is a mismatch there is a mismatch sir what to do now what to do now because if i'm you know if i'm giving any id proof and there is a mismatch then there would be a you know there will be a problem for me while filling this registration form in that uh, case what will you do guys in that case use any other id use any other id okay in which your number is already you know uh, there okay connected with that id you will have the otp you will fill the registration form but before the final documentation apply for the change again you can't apply for the change okay you can you can apply for the change for in this aadhar card but again it will take a lot of time you know that you know the government to work will take a lot of time again the same problem will be there you only have 16 or 70 days right now okay for the last date now the problem is you know they will take a lot of time again for the same you will do what guys you will have other id you can have pen card your you know father's pen card you will fill that you know id id proof there and you will do the same thing but you will apply for this change and you will have this name changed before the final documentation i hope all these three things are clear to all of you guys car certificate problem the only solution is if you have the state certificate then go for it and before the final documentation time before the j advance okay have the central caste certificate if you don't have any then do a single thing please apply online have the receipt number fill those details there and then hope that at the time of documentation they will allow you to use that car uh, that caste certificate for which you have the receipt number and then if you you know if if they won't allow then the only thing is that you will be entitled for the general category then nothing you know you don't have any other option that's it i hope this whole video finds you well i hope this will help you and don't you know panic guys don't be uh, tensed now what uh, last in the in the last what you can do guys apply for the caste certificate apply for this change and hope that uh, this change will be done before your last date before your last date and at least you know if you are if you are applying online or offline let's say if you are saying that sir i will apply uh, for the caste certificate for the from the online you know offline manner and i'm hoping that my my dad had some relations in the office in the government office and maybe i can get that uh, you know caste certificate so at least wait for 20 19 or 20 november but not more than that then you have to fill your registration form otherwise you know there will be problem all right guys so i hope you know this what to do now thank you so much we'll again meet in the next session bye everyone